You know, I've had a lot of time to think during COVID and during this difficult year. And one of the main things I've been reflecting on is what actually works in terms of mindset and the law of attraction to not only feel well right now in the process of reaching your goals, but also to actually reach your goals. And in this video, I want to share what I think is the one practice that really unifies and unites all the fluffy law of attraction practices into one concrete exercise that really does work. So stay tuned. I want to share what that is in today's video. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book on habits, Master the Day. Now, something very important. The first link below this video is for the waitlist for my program, Reinvent Your Life which is a monthly personal development club where beginning for a year, we go through all the quadrants of your life, finances, fitness, relationships, meaning, goal setting, to help you make at least a 50% improvement by having a habit challenge every single week and an affirmation every single week. It's a monthly program, but the beginning is a whole year where we tackle everything. And then there's bonus material every month after. So the first link below this video will put you on the wait list because the course is opening very soon and this is the only public enrollment for the year. So what do all of these law of attraction practices have in common? I mean, I both love this stuff and I just also hate it so much. Because on one hand, you have the insane fluffiness of YouTube where people are talking about how to manifest my dream body with no diet and exercise. And I wanna punch them in the face because they're liars. And on the other hand, you have the deeply practical inner practices that can help you stay focused and stay positive when you're getting discouraged and you're not seeing your goals and your dreams happen and you're wondering when this is all gonna come together. But the one thing I've learned, all of these practices have in common because I view the law of attraction as the inner practice, the inner half of external goal setting and habit change. So Master of the Day, 50% of the book is focused on the narrative, which is the story I'm telling myself. The other 50% is all about the specific habits to do daily. And I've learned that the inner game is the law of attraction. The outer game is daily habit change. So what unites all the manifestation practices is a certain mindset that allows you to stay in an elevated, positive state of mind, a positive expectancy, knowing that your goals will come. And this is what you know new agey people call elevating or raising your vibration, right? Staying in the highest states of consciousness so that you're feeling well and you're in a quote, attractor state. So I was trying to reflect on what is a very tangible, practical way to do this without the fluffiness of most of the law of attraction stuff that I see. And I stumbled upon this crazy book called It Works. This book was written a hundred years ago by an author who didn't even put their name, it's anonymous. And it's literally one of the initial law of attraction books and it's not even 30 pages and it has the very, very, very simple practice that I think is highly understated. And I want to share with you here what it is. Obviously, I'd say go buy this. It's like three bucks on Amazon, but I'll share it with you anyway because I think it seems so simple, but it really does work. The first part of this practice is purely about writing down everything you want to have happen, everything you want. Now for me right now, I'm limiting that to just about 10 or 15 things. And you can see what my list looks like here on my goal setting board. I've just written down all the things I wanna have happen, preferably in the next year. And that becomes the focal point for that attractor or that magnetic state. Now the second thing is basically reviewing that list as often as possible preferably three times a day, the author suggests in the book. But really what it is, is you're dedicating as much conscious as well as later subconscious time, attention, energy, and focus towards the things you want to have happen in your life. You're not sitting there visualizing, you're not affirming, no witchcraft rituals, no pagan rituals, naked outside in the woods in the middle of the night, burning sage over your navel. You're just dedicating conscious attention and conscious time to your goals and you're letting it seep into your subconscious. How am I gonna make that happen? How is that gonna work? What do I have to do next? What's standing in my way? And the third part of the book is that anytime something changes, just update your list. So maybe you realize that, you know what? What you want right now is a relationship, but then you realize, you know what? It's just because I'm lonely during COVID. What I really want right now is to get my finances, my health together. 
And then maybe in three to six months, I'll be in a really good spot where I really want a relationship. So as you have these new desires, these new dreams, these new things you want, just add them to that list and just show them to yourself several times per day and use that as the focal point for your life. So your mission for today, and really like I think if you want to have the best next hundred days of your life, this practice is so almost stupidly offensively simple because humans like secrets and silver bullets and complexity. But I think what goal setting and this law of attraction stuff really is, is maintaining a positive elevated state where you're focused on your goals, focused on what you want to have happen versus not what you don't want to have happen, not your fears. And the more you can focus on what you want, like the author says, through some mysterious law of nature that man does not know, you will begin to have ideas, hunches, opportunities, and these goals will naturally end up happening crazily enough without you even really realizing you're doing it. It doesn't mean they're going to manifest out of thin air, but it means you'll start taking action based on these creative ideas to reach those goals without even realizing that's what was happening. Because it's been so saturated in your brain and in your subconscious and your conscious. So, your mission, if you want to have the next best 100 days of your life, write down everything you want. Look at it multiple times per day. And just saturate your mind and your brain with those desires you want to have happen. Now again, below this video is a link for the waitlist for my Reinvent Your Life program. Which is a monthly personal development club where each month there's a self-growth challenge to improve one part of your life. And we go through all of the domains of life, initially in a 12 month year program, and then it goes on to a monthly program from there. It's reopening again in a week or two, so you can add your name to that wait list below the video. And of course, before you go, I've got two related videos that are gonna help you right here.